So all across the metro, parents are just fired up about mm -hmm. these decisions. A prime example here is Atlanta Public Schools. On Friday, the district said no one would be returning to in-person learning in 2020. And right after that announcement, our inbox was flooded with emails from parents who were upset asking for an in-person option. But when we look closer at the responses to a district-wide survey, it appears those emails to us may have been coming from a loud minority. Deborah Tuff is looking into that for us tonight. You know what? There is a line that's actually drawn right down the middle. You have those parents who say they want their kids to go back to face to face learning that digital learning isn't actually helping them out. Then you have those parents who say, you know what? They don't have a choice but to keep their kids out of school for now until things could get better with COVID, especially because the numbers show that COVID is actually on the rise. My grades have like gotten better. Since switching to digital learning, Kerry Dunn has gone from an F in his chemistry class to a B. He says at home, he's more focused. In classes, I would talk to my friends like throughout the class and like be playful and stuff. And we would just talk instead of really getting the information. While mom of five and digital teacher Nakima Gilliam says her kids need to go back to school. If she have a lack of comprehension and then you're talking and you got five kids, you got a teacher constantly saying mute your mic, you got somebody may coming in doing uh, playing music or something, the teacher instead of talking to the kids trying to get everybody prepared, that's taken away from the learning time. But the issue may center around more than just learning time. We looked at COVID cases in the 30327 zip code near Brandon Elementary in North Atlanta, which had the highest number of students wanting in person and compared it to cases in the 30315 zip code near Forest Hill Academy, which had the highest virtual response. Now, 30327 is close to Buckhead, where the population is predominantly white. According to census data, the latest numbers from the Board of Health show this zip code ranks 22nd for COVID cases in Fulton with 605 total cases. The average income there, $150,000 a year. 30315 is in South Atlanta, where the population is predominantly black, according to census data. It ranks 12th among Fulton County zip codes for COVID cases. Nearly 40% of the population is below the poverty line. The CDC has said race and income are both factors that can put you at higher risk. Education advocate Monique Nunnally says all of this likely played into the divide the and the at. responses. And when you see um, Morningside, 92%. Morningside has 92% uh, response rate. 92% of them wanted to go in person. And you have Brandon Jackson um, and the schools on the north end of the cluster representing 60% of all surveys because they're tuned in. They are in the know. They are privileged and resourced well enough to stay connected. We have a lot more on that conversation on 11alive.com.